This conference will now be recorded. Right. In the last class, we were talking about uh, scope, right? Import and e importing and exporting. Okay, we are not talk about export, but when we, we will do it some time later. So here, what we'll do? We'll tie. We'll talk about Hive. This is also one of the ecosystem of Adobe. So let's see now. And this is generally a data warehouse. Okay. Yeah. Let's do. First, first is. It is data warehouse Hadoop component. Okay, I'll tell you what is this. It is similar like where you can create a tables like internal, external, like external in Azure Polybase. How did you create in Azure using Azure Store, Azure Data Lake Store? Similarly, you can create internal tables nothing but the table which can hold the data within the table okay and external table the table which not which will not hold the data but will refer to some location in hdfs similar like azure store azure data like store so that's the reason there is no database concept here it is called as data warehouse only okay right and next thing is using hive we can process structured and semi structured data okay so generally there are three types of formats here one is structured Next is on semi structured. Third is unstructured. Okay, so when you force structure, you will have number of number of columns. Fixed number of columns. Okay, but not rows so it will be ranging okay so it we can't tell that number of rows but every column every row will have a fixed column fixed column of fixed number of columns so here rows may be varying here okay right now when you go for unstructured yesterday we were talking about sequence file sequence okay i have row parquet this all will see or see yesterday yesterday we were converting that into these type of files but we were not able to read them you somewhere you are getting some special symbols like a machine readable symbols so these are the types of files you find so you may be the, they might be the case where the customer would be giving these type of files to store where their data might be they want to keep the secrecy of data so that man should not be able to read only the people uh, only the system should be able to read so to read these all types of files you will have some class libraries to be imported onto your machine so we'll see what that class libraries and those class libraries would be from java only from java framework okay yeah and unstructured is like pdf audio video files okay these are but here these types of unstructured files you will not able to process these files are are not processed in hive okay not process means it doesn't support there is no case of not processing but hive doesn't support processing this 
okay so this now next is i've this i've uses backend that is nothing but storage as hdfs nothing but adobe distributed file system okay so what is this adobe uses backend yesterday we were importing right so you know this edge node cloud era user so this is edge node this is named node okay so what happens is whenever you create a table okay so as i told you in adobe sorry adobe framework you have hive ecosystem in that you'll have databases to be you have data data virus in this you'll have database so in this what you'll do you will create tables so tables are again managed and external tables okay so manage tables are no or also known as internal tables when you go for external tables it is same only internal external but what happens in the case of manage table when you insert data into table okay it is stored as columns and and rows inside the table only okay it doesn't store in hdfs because it is internal but when you go here the you will not able to insert here okay insert update delete okay what you do here is you create an external table on top of hdfs nothing but referring to the location location of hdfs that is H adobe storage okay so that's the reason it is telling that hdfs uses store uh, uh, hive uses backend store back backend storage as hdfs you can see here. okay so it uses backend storage hdfs again hive uses okay map reduce for processing okay we'll see when this map reduce is used okay this is nothing but for yes map reduce engine for processing okay so we'll see what is that when will this map produce will get okay this map reduce is only used for simple select uh, 
select statement with one or joining of more than one table map produce is nowhere used okay nowhere used but where does map produce use used when you perform aggregate functions then only map reduce will come into picture okay i'll show you when does a map reduce come okay try to understand back end is hdfs and processing in engine is map reduce even though you have a spark it you it doesn't use spark because it uses it is built on top of using that uh, map reduce only okay right the next one is and it is hive is nothing but hql okay hive query language and it is similarly done like whatever the activities you do okay similar to rdbms you can do it okay so most of the cases you will not write any you will have functions all this but what you will do is you do develop that all functions everything in java library and build a jar we'll see how to build a jar how to create a jar in this hive because there would be some cases where you get duplicate entries but yesterday we were talking about that scoop that if you totally have some duplicate entries how do you handle so what we'll do in the same scenario we'll try to work on hive this time so what we'll do we'll try to create some java java function to get some unique value for each and every record so we'll handle there so this is what generally hive is okay this is this is data data virus which is going to hold your data and doesn't store anything in it but it only refer to it will refer to your uh, that story location for only for the internet but data is stored okay right now let's see what are the stuff when you see the structure or it support as i told you it supports some structured right semi-structure these all right so when you go for structured it would, it would be containing raw data like raw data and fixed columns right so what is that fixed columns all this let's see some example then we'll try to load some data there and i'll try to open this let me go there okay now give hive there is no only for hive you need to do it for scoop just command for OZ also you'll have other processing engine just click on this your hive ecosystem could should get started Yeah, you can see now, right? That is what created. So the similarly two databases 
there would be by default one database called default database okay there is no database just go create database here some demo example okay now use that demo example same to what you have done in scoop you create table you create a database create database database name and use database here so that it's not ui just go select and take new query this is entirely uh, entirely linux so use use say that use and database name now just see show tables there is no table okay no tables right so now go here when you when you say fixed column or raw data fixed column or fixed format okay now see so what happens here is there might be some like this data just see okay this is a fixed call fixed length means fixed not fixed length you can see this this is one column data this is one column data but when you see it, this is not required but there's some format to do it so this is something like data that assume you have a data in the file like this so how do you capture this into how do you store this so we have something like uh, because for every column right here you'll have four characters here also you have four characters after this you have four characters so you'll put substring and take this data and here also you'll eliminate this so from here you'll get you'll take substring because from here also you'll take substring because here also by why yes why because because this is common for every line so fixed format so this is also fixed format here so this is also fixed for every line so you'll just go and get this data now if you go here i'll just put minus here okay now you have something called minus value but here you have only two two characters two letters but here you have two letter three values because this is continuing only positive so plus symbol is not given but here you have a negative so minus symbol is given so how do you handle this all substring function may not be working may working or may not be working okay yeah now what we will do there are two commands here okay so for loading data so what i'll do this type of, what i am creating these files right what i'm trying to do i am creating some files so these files i'll store it in edge node as you know i'll not take in hdfs i'll take only processed data into tables unstructured data what will do? i'll put in edge node from there i'll try to load it into hive table then i don't have any work to do with edge node then remaining process i'll do on the top of the table in manage table as i told you we have managed table right managed or internal table okay what i'll try to do is i'll create two files now okay i'll we'll see what are the data types we'll have but before that i'm just telling this now i'll create as sample one okay 
this this data then i'll go with sample 2.txt okay now these two files would be in edge node that is home cloud era i'll store it one dot txt or sample two dot txt like this i'll store it so now what i'll do we have a command because we are loading it from my local that is local is edge node okay hadoop hadoop is cluster okay so what i'll do for loading for loading data from local into hive managed table that is internal table so what i'll do we have command load data this is a command okay when you wanted to load from your edge node okay load data local in path so what is that in path om you can give sample 1.txt or you can give relative path also when you say relative path is full path yes om cloud era sample one dot txt into table which table that is table name okay so what i'll take now is when creating table i'll take this all into as a single column entire row i'll take into single column then i'll process that data in my hive okay right now let's see before that we'll go and see what are the data that are present then we'll create a table it is similar like sequels are only but only thing is in case of where care you'll have a string okay Yeah, you can just see here. What, what did we do? Yes, in all floats also. Only in case of where you'll have string here, boolean this all you have. Okay, right. And you have a size of what size it's take it is going to take that all we'll see later when we are doing it right now what i'll do i'll create a small table okay we already created a database i'll create a table create table sample one okay line okay i'm creating this table let me save this okay so what i'll do i am creating this table let's go let me go there create table sample one string okay 
create spelling I have given wrong create okay now we want to describe you want to know what columns you have just see describe generally we go for sp underscore l text in sql so there is no such type here we have a describe just go it will show you number of columns and data types okay yeah now if you see here describe formatted that is giving short description but they should give idea this kid is they should give you can see here when i say describe table it was only given the column name and data type when i say describe formatted okay it is telling the column name column name and data type okay after that is saying who is the what is the database who is the owner when did it is got created what is the retention period okay last access not known and the location okay now when you are inserting data we'll see how does the data get inserted will it take in something else or what i just told you see a user hive for every table that you create a folder is getting created okay we have created database right so what is happened database has got created a folder created and you can see manage table as i told you it is internal table and what type of format by default text format input format here okay input text formats in scoop you have text file format here also you have input what is serialization lazy serialization is taking there is no compression we have used we'll use it what we have used yesterday number of buckets no okay so this is all you can get it how do you get is describe formatted table name and describe table name there's a two when you say describe table only the columns and data types will be shown short description will be shown when you say describe formatted table name so it will show you entire description of the table okay now let's go just go here hdfs dfs will list out i just increase the size of i'll increase the font huh? right now let's see we'll list we'll go to that direct we'll go to that uh, what is a uh, we have created database right or uh, where did it created we'll see let's go hdfs i'm just listing off all the directories in adobe hdfa dfs minus ls okay just go to user okay hdfs dfs minus ls hive okay and i we have varos go to that location also in that location you should get the database name user okay now you can see that example demo has got, example demo has got for you okay just see there let's, let's take down this
a folder is got created when you created database folder just go to go inside that also right just go inside now now you will not have any it's only the folder got created but you will not have a file because we are not loaded their data okay now let's go and load the data now okay we'll take it from file and load and see what is going to happen load data local in path okay home did we create the table did we create that file no pi sample one dot txt you need not give txt also okay you can just give sample there is no need of giving an extension like windows okay in windows also it is nowhere told that when you are doing uh, some etl process it will ask you the file format but you can create any file without any dot dot extension also now I'll, we are not we are in editor non editable mode just press i here now you are coming to in session mode now that is where you can enter data just go xxx now you can just directly take the data from here It's not coming. TK. Okay, now we have inserted it. Just press escape to get into non editable mode. Colon W for write, Q for quit, and exclamation mark. Just enter there. Now just see whether the data that you have wrote is Sam. Yes. Okay, here and some value okay now let's go now let's insert home cloud era sample one dot txt into table what table we did we create we have created some table called sample one only right Yes, sample one. Just go there. Enter. What has happened? What table we have created? Okay, sample, not sample one, sample. Now data is loading data into the table. It is giving table name, other database name and table name. Just say select star from sample. Okay, you are getting. Now just go to other window. Okay, table got created and we have inserted. Let's see that only the same one now. I'm going to that table. Right, sample table that we have created. Just click on enter. Okay, now what is happening? The text file has got has got inserted. Nothing but it is a mood that from that location it has moved to this location. 
if you want just go there data not got loaded it is just referring to the text file okay let's see user i veros database okay now you can see that then whatever do you have the same file there also yes just go for a list you should have here sample one you can see the sample one is there okay now what i'll do for time being i'll create a table here we'll try to insert okay we'll, ju we'll just see dummy something dummy okay bs some string okay end now what i'll do just go insert into dummy value something one comma a because when you are reading it i want to see it when you are loading so file is referring so when i have inserted i want to see how the data is stored i want to show you so that's the reason we have come here come to this point okay and you can see this map reduce something it is working behind the story senior map one okay so it is creating a map story for map uh, map reduce program here so map is getting created but not reduce see here you can see this here it is showing map reduce cpu time spent four seconds and milliseconds here and you can see number of mappers is one created number of reducers is zero as i told you for every activity that you in you do in hive map reduce program is getting created so mappers are getting created but not reducer reducers are created only on as i told you here somewhere i told you for aggregations uh, map reduce yes so we'll come into picture okay so the similar case here also so mappers will be mapped mappers are created but reducers are created when you only when you only perform uh, this aggregations okay we'll see that also just hold on if to okay now let's see enough
sorry not select two rows has got in, in, inserted right now i'll go for back end okay hdfs control l hdf i'll just go to previous command okay same database here now you should get two folders because you have two two tables okay right so what is happening now here when you are loading it a folder is getting created okay but when you are creating table and inserting directly there is no folder getting created here when you are loading using a file into that table a folder is getting created not this should create i think somewhere you are doing wrong let me go there I, we are in this table no i should not do it it should create a folder for that table also okay now you can see dummy a folder is getting created just go there okay now you can see that when you go for map scope it was creating like part hyphen m hyphen 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 2 like this right now it is going under 6 0 underscore 0 like this just go there now So the dummy is the internal internal table and sample yes is internal, yes no no okay. sample is also internal table only i have not created an external table right did you see now the data is stored one a to b both are internal tables only okay. what i am trying to tell you is when i load it with table table is moved into when i have loaded into table using a file so data that file is moved into that particular directory okay now when you when you go here when you go to this internal table and you insert the data into that table so the actual data is stored okay but not that in the tire not in the like similar like file okay yeah now let's go i'll insert a single row again go with one okay right now just go call that table here so when you're when you're writing select statement only mappers are called not reduces right so now what i'll do select okay so we have, i'll just describe the table here select sum of i okay b from dummy 
group by i. What is happening? Sorry, group by b, not i. So what is happening now? Reducer will come into the picture. Previously, when you write a select statement, you can see here number of reducers is equal to one, number of mappers is equal to one. Previously, when I write a single select statement with simple, so reducers was not coming in. Map reduce program was getting created. Mappers was creating but not reducers. So when those reducers will get created is when you make some aggregations on that table. Mappers will automatically get created because it need to create a Java program to do some operation. Now we can see here. And mapper is one. Reducer is one. And data that you got here. There's only for aggregations. What about like order by and sorting? No, no, for all, no, no, only for aggregate. Yeah, sorting also will get it. Aggregating order by sorting also will get. If you just go here. Now you are not getting that. Only when you do it for aggregation, order by sorting, you'll get it. Okay, yeah. Now let's go back now. Yeah. Go here, sample. Right? So now what I want to do, I want to create a, a table. Sample one some year end val end okay just click enter i have created this so now what i want to do i i should able to take a, i should able, i should because this is some formatted data and is a fixed delimiter so using the delimiter i want to clean that and store into the table so what i will do as i told you this is fixed delimiter you have in the before first value you have four x values and for the second value that is 25 before that you'll have three x values so you can use four x values as one delimiter three x values as other delimiter okay so for this what do you need to do you don't have anything you can't put a delimiter and read here there is no function like delimiters or we have only one function called replay substring function so that what you can you can tell that starting character until end of the character so starting characters and how many characters from starting you wanted so you can use a substring function here so just go and describe that table so you will get column name using that column name only you'll be able to get the data okay just see so first second you have this right one two three four go f just say five and four from five fifth character you want four characters right just go okay you are getting it now when you see this one two three four five five six seven eight nine ten eleven here you have 12 so from 12 you want two characters just go now
sorry from 2 not not from 2 from 12 okay now you make a single statement now when you have fixed delimiter length then you need to go with this line that is a column 5 comma 4 okay substring okay you are getting this now you you need to insert right so you have created some other table so you need to insert now you have just taken proper data but you need to insert the data into the table you have just loaded the data but you have not loaded into that uh, what is a proper table you have taken into some raw data table you have insert that raw data into other table from that table you are cleaning it putting it to proper table so we have already created a table called sample one right these two so we need to insert so for that what you are, for reading from table you already seen right for loading that from file to table right loading now what you'll do now what is going to happen is you are going to have in hive you already have a sample table let me create this sample here sample okay sample table again you have created in hive a other table that is sample one id int sorry year int val int okay this is internal table because we are not told as external and this is known as managed table also now what do you need to do here you have wrote a select statement select substring okay line some um, five comma four okay substring line 12 comma two from table you are taking so you have created this is what when you do it you will get here some value some 2020 space some 19 2019 you will get some 18 you are getting like this 2018 you will get something 15 you are getting like this values right now you are, you need to insert into that this table these values so what you need to do go here insert override table okay table name then what do you need to write just get this statement okay now let's go and do there insert sorry describe sample describe sample one okay insert override okay so whenever you insert like this manually you need to definitely say override nothing but old data will get overrated so what you do is you never insert like this we are doing for because you are doing it manually you are do you are inserting but what you do you push enter data enter data into a file that file will be pushed into hdfs on the top of that you will create an external table this is how you do it but manually we are doing so you are overriding it okay insert override table sample one okay now go here write that select statement
okay just click enter Okay, now the data has got inserted. Now let's see. Select star from. Now you got this data, right? So data is now you are inserted. So data is stored there. Okay, right. Now what we'll do in case I'll just go and edit that file. We have created some file rights. Yeah, let's see that. Sample one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There is no folder with that. Okay, just go. Now you can see that value getting created stored. Oh, the value is getting. But uh, it's not it's stored in the right format, right? Yeah, no, it, it, it is by default. Generally, it stores like this only when you create. OK, so what we'll do while creating table external table internally when you do define internal table it will create this way but when you create an external table you'll tell you what is the row for row delimiter what is the column delimiter but internally this is going to this is how the data is going to get created and uh, okay. where where is the schema stored where is the schema stored schema is nowhere stored schema see this is a file that is stored Okay, schema is stored in the database itself. That is what I have told, right? Just go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. Show yeah. tables. Here. So it's stored on the data warehouse. Yeah, it's have... data warehouse only. I have stored uh, describe. So you are getting that schema, right? What is short notation and uh, I notation? That is lot description and short description. You are getting it. Right, right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now go here right so this is the way data is stored i know because you don't have delimiter here so how it is it is stored in this way only right now let's go what i'll do is similarly i'll end up with the when you go for this i'll just end up with this a small example then remaining will go for json okay how do you read, read json or xml cat yes cat sample dot txt one dot txt okay so vi i want to edit this data just press i that comes into 
in session mode okay okay i'll escape this then colon wq write quit and exclamation just click here cat sample one dot txt okay you can see minus 24 here minus 30 so the same thing again but in this case that is not going to work in our case let's see now what we have used earlier that would not be working in our case now we need to go with a different mechanism now create table negative sample okay load data local in path home cloud era sample one i think that is only the file name yeah sample one dot txt into table okay so data is getting loaded select from okay so if you go with the earlier example earlier this okay so that is getting missed there If I go and give three year, okay, so right, let's see enough. okay so let's see yeah line to welcome out one not equal to What did I do? Yes, that's right. I'll take two only here. You are getting right. So let's go. I'll put three here. I think double equal to or single equal to. Yeah, now you are getting it right. So what did I take? Yes. I have taken a where clause here wherever I find because if I do because if you see the data here here you don't have negative value in the second in the first line you don't have negative value in the third line also you don't have negative value in the second line you have negative value in the fourth line you have negative value if you take same length so for this case what happens this x 25 x would come but in this case you'll get only minus 24 in this case you will get 23 x in this case you'll get minus 30 so these values should you get so if you get x so that is not meaningless that is meaningless so what i have done i've just used this command 
wherever i don't find wherever i don't find minus okay so what i want to do i want to take only two characters here i don't have any minus when i i'll take this and as this one i'm taking this length of two characters and going and searching for the first character out of this so when i don't have negative value then i'll check i'll only go for this value 25 when i go for negative value i'll take two three characters i don't have negative i'll take two characters when i have negative i'll take three characters that is what i have done here okay wherever i see here for one first in the second value if i don't find negative value that is i1 then i'm taking only only this uh, that when i find negative that is i1 i'm taking two characters when i find negative i'm taking three characters when i don't find negative i'm taking two characters here so this is working for, for me just go Okay, union all. Enter. So you should get the result now. I'm just joining the two statements. okay now you are getting it so now go and create show tables here now you can create i think you should able to create the tables now what i'll do i'll just override okay i'll just override into the table here we have used the select statement union all okay right now what I'll do sample one right I'll insert override table sample one okay just go use that state sorry and let me clean the screen okay what i'll do is i'll get the previous statement okay So this was a statement which we are used previously. okay right now what will we'll just write that insert statement insert override sample one control l okay enter
substring line okay so we were using this statement right this one just go use that one to make it handy i'm using i i made small okay go line now from 5 to 4 substring so 9 10 11 12 it is 9 here this is 10 11 12 so from 13 Okay, go here where substring line thirteen comma one not equal to equal to okay, so this should come. Actually, that statement should have copied union all. Now they should be equals to, and this should be three, right? So this is what should happen. Clicks enter. What is that happened? Sample one. Yeah. What has happened is override table we have not given here. Table. Okay. Let's go. Shut something wrong okay yeah now just see that is already a big problem here here i have given semicolon here also i have given semicolon so it will fail let me click uh, yeah let me go from the beginning yeah this is one next statement okay union all yeah i'll write it otherwise what is that happening there's no table or what it is not recognizing it insert override table yeah into should not come there super no into should come i think we have already given that into us right just a minute guys yeah this was the error that we were getting it one minute local in path i use yeah let me do one thing i'll just take a single statement not multiple union because of that i think uh, one minute union uh, let me go there too i'll copy this statement uh. actually i should have put in single statement because i'm clicking error so it is giving some problem for me mm, 
what is happening one minute select from sample one Acha, acha. the problem is not that problem is from here that statement has to be written or not sample i should have written on this table na? i'm referring when i take it i'm referring to when i'm trying to insert the data i'm referring to the sample so that's the reason that i am getting that error so let me go select substring line okay y comma 4 comma substring line okay so 13 comma 2 from okay so right now let's go for the other one i think it will come out to will come out to yes then here it will come a three okay so what i'll do i'm taking this statement where substring will comma one okay not equal to minus minus What is this one meter? What is this happening? Substring is right only. If I give two unrecognized character, what is that unrecognized character? Negative sample line one meta. Is there a line five comma four parentheses comma? One no? meta one where stop string line to will comma one not equal to minus yeah you're getting it why it is not working there it should be three enough Okay, right, it's working here. Why it's not working there? TK. Insert override table sample one. Okay, first I'll take the first one. I put enter. That should have not done. Okay.
Okay, just see now. I should have not done that. I should have put union all. But okay, that has got previous data got overrided. Now I'll just go. Okay. Is this right? Union all. Take three and put equal to. Okay, this should work now. Put semicolon and uh, yeah, now it's working. Previously, what we, I was taking on the same table, so that was not working. Now it it will work. Okay, now just go. Okay, now the data has come with positive and negative values there. Right. So, okay. Now this is how you deal with fixed length characters. Okay, so based on the data. So now what we'll do, this is fixed format. Now we'll work with XML data. Okay, so what happens in XML data is everywhere you'll have similar like start and end at end tags here. When you start tag here, so this should compulsory have end tag. If you don't have, it will not support. Okay. Similarly, there's a parent one. Okay, in this you can have child also. C1 start tag C1 end tag like this. So this should be compulsory closed here. If you forgot to close like slash, then it will not allow. So it will not meet some of the XML requirement so it will not allow you to read so here you are writing it now when you are writing it you are writing like this c2 start tag again if you if you have a children you can go right here here you can have c11 start tag Here close C2 1 and start tag. Okay, like this. So this is what you'll have here also end. So you can have. So how do you read these values? Because this is a parent one. This is a child to that. Okay, this is also child, and this is a grandchild grandchild. Again, this can also have a child again. So how do you read? Okay, for reading you can put all this like this for reading data you can put Okay for reading For writing or for visibility purpose you can do Okay, so what happens here is in in case of Hadoop if you write and store like this data will not be read Okay Data will not be read and you will not able to means you will not able to do some any manipulations What is required so in that case what you need to do is you need to put everything in a single line How long it might be it doesn't matter You need to you need to put all in single statement just see now take this If you put like this in your hive table and try to process this will not work 
to do any manipulations because everything is called an attribute okay everything this is a xml attribute this is, and in this whatever you have value you call as xml value here also here also you have value here also you have value but here this is called attribute so how do you call that all we'll see okay so what you need to do you need to put everything like this I'll just do word wrapper so we'll get so it will take into single line okay so this is how you need to keep it if you want second line then go here you put it like this so this is how data would be read if you have multiple lines you will not read so for reading this text that also so how do you read that because it's not easy to everything is an attribute so you have something called x path okay this xml path x path x reader x writer we have in sql server also that are nowhere used but similar type of functions we have so when you write like x path here just go there select x path okay just after you write x path just click on tab then you got x path x boolean x double x float x int so how do you are getting is what is this x boolean x true x float x int x long you have a string short so to get this value this is a one attribute right yeah c1 start attribute c1 end attribute so this value is string so you need to you you need to go and use x, x path string how you use it just see now x path okay start string start tag okay then go c1 put your string here so you'll get that value go take this end okay go here So this is how you get the value. We'll just try to load some data and see how you can get the data. Okay. So how do you for this? You have different types of data types that you call. This is x path, x boolean, x double, x float, x int, x long, x number. These are the different types. So what I'll, I'll create a small data. Okay. Let's see. record here okay as i told you will not if you do like this we'll try to load like this and see whether it is going to read or not okay this record has got ended I'll, I'll try to write one more record okay right two records 
let's try loading this into a file okay then we'll do what using that manipulation we'll see if this is if this is a format will that read or not we'll see okay right this format is absolutely right you have start tag here this end here also you have start tag here also end everything you have value this small bracket is getting closed here also everywhere so absolutely fine but this all should be in a single line then only that it will read otherwise it will not read that is what my intention is to tell you okay just see enough this is the xml right not json yeah this is xml only that is what i told you right yeah that is what i wrote xpath yeah did i write a json somewhere no i wrote no. xml path on xml only yeah json okay. would be like this open braces curly braces then write name colon srikanth key value comma this is what the json is oh yeah some 30 because that is numeric go six if you want one more take this this is all the json bfs but json also you have other things to do it call okay yeah i wrote xml.tx text why, why is it semi structured i mean it still looks structured yeah this is structured only right you can go to this is structured only uh, yeah, sorry semi structured this is they're called semi structured yeah, yeah semi structure only yeah reason i'll tell you this if i go here i'll write here children okay this recon can have two children or th two or three or four if i say kid one i'll open here this is what the big problem when you do with you will not able to work, get the no get the tags of json kid 2 okay now this person doesn't have kids enough okay now tell me how you are going to read when you are going to call this children this children tag you don't have in json there is no key value this is called everything is called key this this is key this is value and when you go for children key the children key is not present in this then reading second one would get failed if you told he is having children also this person is having two and this person is having only one okay this person is having only one now if you go and read this child and kid 2 okay this kid 2 is not present then it will fail this is semi structure only not the you will get if everything is common structure then you will able to work in json properly if you don't have proper structure that person is having children this person is not having children then reading will not will be very much problematic in json you will not able to even read also at one point of time you will not able to read how to get how to get the attribute of that if you not there how you want to get to the first row and second row you need to ignore people tell json is very good json is good only when you don't have the children 
this one this type of things when you don't have it's very easy to read but when you have children under that sub children under that you have sub children then you went you will not able to do it okay yeah, so it will be hard to those uh, sub string uh, statements yes yeah that would be making very much problematic for you yeah that is what tk now let's go enter name So, uh, so it's not possible to handle like uh, the children tags, like if it's inconsistent structure. No, you're not, not able to. No, it, it's not possible. It's not possible. In not in Hive, in any language. Okay. If there is inconsistent inconsistency, you're not able. To. How can you write a query to get when when the, when there is a take when you take simple example when you want to take two tables and you want to do union all and you are calling one column which is already there in the table but second the column in the first table which is having that column is not present in the second second table and you are trying to do union all tell me now the statement will break Okay, now you got this. Now let's load this. XML sample. Load data local in path. txt into table xml sample okay click enter now it is trying to load the data okay now it got just click now select the table select you got now i'll try to read i want to get the name okay because this is a format just yes, see select xpath string okay what is the column name is line okay so go and give that attribute okay slash We'll see whether this first slash will work or not. Okay. Content not allowed. Okay. Let's go with the second one. I'll just remove this, huh? Because first slash is not required. Yeah. What it is trying to tell you is the data that you have put content is not allowed in prologue. Okay. So what is happening is this data will not able to read and will not able to read because this is not in a single line it is this single statement is not in single line it is treating this is a single statement this is single statement this is single statement so x path string is not working okay now let's go
V I. Okay. Now let's go there. Yeah, I think I should write a new one. Yeah. What is the automatic way of like uh putting it in one line because uh, generally the source systems won't give you the code in one line yeah you need to that will you need to no no when you when you are doing it the scoop or any tool you need to make it in a single line so system you need to get it that is what you need to ask for the people who give so you should tell them that school I will not able to data virus will not able to read when you give multiple so there might be some but I don't know what is that mechanism to put it in single line yeah now we have this data let's go local data right now I'll create a new table create table XML sample one dot TX sorry line string okay now go here load data local in path okay you have some XML dot text go there home cloud i'm using a relative path if you don't use also nothing happens you can directly say xml dot txt into table okay just click enter now the data should get loaded select here okay now go go to that statement now you should able to get it x path string line rec from xml sample one now you are getting right just go int sorry so not int int only but it's not integer so integer column that is date age sorry age now go here string just go for six here okay because of why it didn't read because you have given multiple lines so it was not able to do it so we have done when you give the in single line it will work so let's write now okay now you got this data now you create a table create table xml sample two okay name as string age as integer six as string now you try to try override insert override into table 
xml sample to right use that select statement what you have wrote earlier what is that happening insert override into that is right only now okay let me see here xml sample 2 okay describe what is happening okay you have this let me go that you are getting insert override i think that i have wrote into i should have not written that xml sample 2 okay write the select statement just click enter yeah previously what i did you insert override into table into should not be written Okay, now you should go now. Write the table, get the table name. Select star from sample two. Now you got this data, right? Just go back now. HDFS DFS HDFS DFS minus LS user hive warehouse okay so in that you'll have databases you'll have two databases that is called default one and the database that we have created okay right now go there Okay, now just go and see sample XML. Sample 2. Sorry, I should have given slash star here. TK, now you are getting it. One question for you is one whenever the de default delimiter, default delimiter, first scoop is comma okay default delimiter per if is slash zero 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 one okay for this we have symbol i forgot that symbol this is a this slash zero zero one is a default delimiter that you will not have, that you can see when you are putting in external that but it's a default delimiter okay that is when you are doing import into hive directory this will come okay hive directory 
in hive data in hive varos so at that time you can see this or this as some other symbol or the other symbol let me see that Yeah, delimiter. Yes. So these are the few delimiters we have. Okay. So you can see understanding default delimiters. Otherwise, I'll I'll look and tell you next week. When I there's some here some you'll have some image for that. Let me look into this image. It is not given. Yeah, fields terminated row delimiter you have, but fields terminated you'll have this. Okay, this is a default delimiter that Hive supports. Comma, comma is for scoop, slash 001 is for Hive. Okay, yeah, we'll try to wind up here and we'll see a few more next week.